You might have noticed more people wearing denim around town today, and that's because today is Denim Day in honor of Sexual Assault Awareness Month. KCBD News Channel 11, Sydney Louther joins us in the studio to share why wearing denim on this last Wednesday of April is so important. Sydney? Well, Karen and Abner, it's a little unusual to see me here in blue jeans, but millions of people across the world are also wearing jeans today on purpose to spread awareness and stand in solidarity with sexual assault survivors. Sexual assault does not discriminate, and people who want to take that power from others, um, that they don't discriminate. In 1992, in a small town in Italy, an 18-year-old woman accused her 45-year-old driving instructor of rape. He was convicted and sentenced to jail. Whenever it comes to convictions and um, justice for survivors, that's really hard, and it's been a really long road. Six years later, the driving instructor appealed his conviction, claiming it was consistent sensual because the girl was wearing tight jeans and she had to help him remove them. The Italian Supreme Court ruled in his favor and overturned the conviction. On the path of, hey, like, no, there's not, there was not consent. Even the consent education um, can become really muddled. The day after the conviction was overturned, the women in the Italian parliament wore jeans on the front steps of the Supreme Court in protest. This protest became Denim Day. Now, the longest running sexual assault campaign in history. Who have the survivors back and being public about that, I think is the most impactful way to show people that you're not alone. According to Texas Association Against Sexual Assault, one in five women and one in 20 men in Texas have been sexually assaulted at some point in their lifetime. And more than 80% of Texans that were sexually assaulted did not report it to law enforcement. So I think now, looking at those reports, you can kind of see it as a win of somebody coming forward and sharing their story and wanting justice of some form. Texas Tech Title IX and the Risk Intervention and Safety Education, or RISE, offer resources and support for victims of sexual violence. Or you can call the 24-7 National Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-4673. Something really terrible happened and you deserve support and to be heard. Sexual assault survivors will gather tonight at Memorial Circle as part of the Rise Offices event, Take Back the Night. Anyone is welcome to join from 7.30 to 9 to show support for their, those who share their stories or share your own. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Sydney.